So let me start by going over my history with Kingdom Hearts because it's not the best. It's not very good. Um, so first of all, I'm a Nintendo fan. I've always been a Nintendo fan. I love Nintendo consoles. Um, but I think my greatest downfall, like looking back today, my greatest downfall is I've never had a PS2. I just never wanted it. I just never had it because I was a Nintendo fan. Like I wanted the GameCube. I got the GameCube. I love the GameCube. But like looking back today, PS2 is the most um, the most sold console in the world. Um, but whatever, I never had a PS2. So my first exposure to Kingdom Hearts, right, was Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance because I was a Nintendo fan. I always had Nintendo consoles. Um, so my first ever, like, the first time I heard about Kingdom Hearts, the first the first time playing a Kingdom Hearts game was Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance. And looking back today, that's one of the worst <laughs> games in the series. You know, like everyone says like skip that or like watch. I mean, I've been looking today like how to play the Kingdom Hearts games and just like getting opinions and stuff. Um, because I never played Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2 as a kid growing up. Um, so I didn't know, you know, like the difference between Chain of Memories. It's like one of the worst games in the series and the actual Kingdom Hearts game on PS2. And then there's Kingdom Hearts 2 on PS2. Um, but I just never played those. So... I loved Chain of Mem Memories. I was like, this is amazing. Like, I, I loved that game on Game Boy Advance. Played it a lot. But this is not, like, comparable. It's not, like, the same game. This is, like, a card. Um, that's just not the same at all. So, let me talk about my second Kingdom Hearts game, right? Because this is another worst in the series 358 over two days right for the nintendo ds because i was a nintendo fan i've always been so i had the nintendo ds i got this kingdom hearts game i was so excited to play like a like a real 3d <laughs> kingdom hearts game right is it's supposed to be like a big deal i've never done it i hadn't do it done it before so I actually didn't like this game. Like this was one of the worst games in the series. They didn't even remake it. They remade like the other ones. Um, this, the story, I, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Even today, I don't know what's going on in the story of Kingdom Hearts, but this game I was just so, I felt like so cheated. I was like, what the hell is it? Like, I just wanted to play like Sora, Donald, Goofy, because at this point, like I knew about the characters. I played Chain of Memories and I was just like, what the hell is this? Like, I, I don't, I didn't like that game. I just, it didn't feel like a Kingdom Hearts game because at this point I like, I knew what that was. Um, it was like a stealth, like you go into these Disney worlds, right? Like Kingdom Hearts, except there's nothing in them. Like there's no enemies. There's like rarely there. I, I remember like I played for like four hours or something. There's like one battle and I was like, what the hell is this? There's like no, no heartless, no enemies in the worlds and you have to do like stealth missions and, and then like you come back the next day. It was so like, like the gameplay wasn't there. I think it was like focused more on story. I didn't know what was going on in the story. So anyways, 
horrible experience with this game. This is my second Kingdom Hearts game. So my third Kingdom Hearts game was Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance on 3DS. And uh, this game was better. You know, this was actually Sora, Donald, Goofy, like I wanted just like classic Kingdom Hearts, but there, there was like other stuff going on. I don't think I got very far in this. I never, and definitely never beat it, but this was better. You know, like this was, they actually remade this game um, for uh, PS4. So now we're getting to like today, like how I feel about Kingdom Hearts today, like what I've played. So today it's like so easily accessible. You know, you can buy like the 1.5 remix, 2.5 remix. Um, you can buy like the, the whole series, the whole collection, like all the big titles in Kingdom Hearts. Um, I did that on PS4. I played through um, a lot of them. I never beat one. I never beat two. Um, I did get to the point where I just like started watching cutscenes online, but like, I don't want to do that anymore. I think I just want to like go back and beat the games and just figure out what's happening because I don't know what's going on in the story at all. But anyways, at this point I've played like Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2. I can say like, I think they're both good games. I want to beat them. But then Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And I got Kingdom Hearts 3. And that was like... On PS4, I was like excited for that. And I actually loved Kingdom Hearts 3. I was like... As this person who grew up with these like these horrible Kingdom Hearts games, I guess. I think this this was like my different perspective. But I love this game. It like it was so good to me. This is Kingdom Hearts 3 is the only um the only Kingdom Hearts game I've ever beaten. And I think that does say a lot a game, uh, about a game. It just like, it just means it kept my interest. It means like, I wanted to go back. When you beat a game, you're like, okay, I actually enjoyed that. Like I wanted to finish it. I wanted to see what happens. I wanted to play the, play the entire game, you know, which I know it's like today it's different than when Kingdom Hearts came out because it came out in 2002, like um, 19 years ago. So, like, I didn't have that perspective. I didn't play them back then. So I didn't, I didn't like compare them like that. I just, Kingdom Hearts 3 was like the first game I beat. I did play the other ones before that, but about Kingdom Hearts 3, right? I just, I thought it was all so good. It was so good to me. It did get like a lot of, I think this is like all the Kingdom Hearts game. It did get a lot of like, um, you're just like mashing the X button, but it was varied a lot. Like it just like turns into a first person shooter kind of like, it just like changes into, it was very, I thought it was really fun. It was like the entire time they mix up the gameplay like over and over the story is like what the hell is going on but like that's all of the kingdom hearts games i think a lot of people are mad about the story i think a lot of people are like comparing this game to the previous games and i didn't have that perspective i just i told you like the horrible games that i started with and um yeah i loved Kingdom Hearts 3, like the whole thing, the whole concept, the whole game, like, okay, I can't say the whole game, right? Um, three of the games, uh, overall, I think it's a, it was a very solid game, but three of the games I will say are three of the worlds that you go to, um, they were just like copy paste of 
movies. Like they li they literally took okay, there's a frozen section in Kingdom Hearts 3 and they just took scenes from Frozen and I realized <clears throat> I realized this after watching those movies. So I started out playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and I never saw Frozen before. But because of Kingdom Hearts 3, I guess it's kind of like that Smash thing where like you play a Smash Brothers character and you're like, I want to try this. Like that happened to me with um, Persona 5. I was like, I should try this. I should see where this character comes from. But anyways, like uh, there was this Frozen section in Kingdom Hearts. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was going on because like they just took scenes from Frozen and put them in the game and they um, like built something around that. So anyways, I watched Frozen after this. Um, there was also more examples. There was Big Hero 6. I think they took a s scenes like just directly from the movie. Tangled, they took scenes and yeah, the, those worlds were basically that's what they were. They just like copy pasted the story and like put Sora there. But overall, the game, like there were such good levels. They just felt so short. Like I just wanted more, you know, the like, for example, Toy Story. That was so cool. That was like hyped for so long. Um, Monsters Inc. That was so cool, but it just felt so short. Like I, I wanted more of that. Um, the pirate plays Pirates of the Caribbean. I really liked that. I enjoyed that. Like you get on the ship. I, I heard people complaining. Like you just gotta like grind and get crabs and, but like, I liked that. That was like an exploration, like cool. Um, you know, like riding a ship around and stuff. Yeah, I, I like this game. Um, now let's talk about the DLC, right? I, <laughs> the DLC was horrible. Oh my God. The game, the DLC was like, let's take the game that you already played and they added, they added nothing to it. They just like, redid fights i don't even know okay it, it was so bad it was like let's just replay this entire part that you already played in kingdom hearts 3 okay i loved kingdom hearts 3 the dlc was like 40 dollars or something and it was horrible okay like okay i'm also not an expert player i'm not like a um, amazing Kingdom Hearts pro player because like at the towards the end of the DLC you unlock this whole other section where you're fighting these really hard bosses right and I just like couldn't beat any of them they were so hard because people complain about the difficulty I guess of Kingdom Hearts 3 people complain about everything people fucking hated Kingdom Hearts 3. People hate that game. Um, I actually loved it. And I, I know my mem my history with Kingdom Hearts isn't the best, but like by today's standards, I guess I never beat one. I never beat two. I plan to, but I beat three. Like I wanted to. I really liked the ending, like everything. I don't even want to say story because that I, I didn't know what was going on, but yeah, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the game enough to beat it. The music was amazing. I love the music. I don't want to say I love the story because I, uh, no, I did not love the story. I loved the gameplay. I The gameplay was so varied. The only part of the gameplay I didn't like was like, go, so you go into these different rides, you know, like for example, you turn it, you go, 
um, into a merry-go-round and like attack uh, as a merry-go-round. You're like hitting X at the right time. Or you turn into like one of those ships. You turn into like these different rides and attractions and stuff to attack and combat. So it just like varies the combat. They're always varying the combat. But there's this one where like you get onto this tube, you know, like a a tube ride with Donald and Goofy. And that was like kind of annoying, like drawing out this thing every time. It just like took too much time. Um, the ship like rocking back and forth. That was kind of cool. Just like it was just always varying the combat, which was really cool. I just liked how it was mixing genres i think mixing genres is so cool like if a game just like changes into an fps for a little while like that's pretty cool to me and this was not in kingdom hearts or kingdom hearts 2 i don't know why nobody ever praises these things but i don't know why this game i i guess because if you compare it to kingdom hearts 2 1 and 2 People just loved those games so much. They grew up with these games and I didn't, but yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3 was really good in my opinion. All right, that's it. See ya.